Hey guys, it's your boy Gary coming at you with another video. Mike over at Nitro Speed put out a challenge, guys, for I think it's panel trucks and wagons, if I'm not mistaken. And so I decided to throw my hat in the ring as always, guys, you know. I love a good challenge, especially when it's a, the whole community can be a part of it. So let me make sure I'm right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, wagons and panel channel, challenge. Hello guys, this is Mike from Nitro Speed. So guys, let's get this started. Here's my first one, guys. Let's turn on the wheel. I don't want this to be too long. I picked out like 12 cars. So the first one is the 64 Gas Nova, a Nova Gas Wagon, however you want to put it. That's the first one. These were very popular when they came out, guys. As most of you guys may know. You got this Oldsmobile Vista from Matchbox. I think I have another version of this one. I'm not sure where it's at. With the dogs hanging out the back. If I can turn down some of this light a little bit. It won't wash out too much. Volkswagen. Square body. I think that's right. This is the very first time I've shown this car since I purchased it. It's been sitting in the case for the whole time, maybe over a year. So now I'm getting this debut after setting collecting dust. <laughs> We have this Ford Angela. From the Moon Eyes series. I love my Moon Eyes. I know there's more to come from. They could like for the moon eyes. I just haven't got around to it yet. Green lights, Nova wagon. Also have a Nova wagon. Did I take it out? Nope, I guess I left it in. From Hot Wheels also. Maybe I did. No, I left it in the, in the case. It's all good. Next, guys. I have to throw one of the favorites in there, always.
and that is my nomads. Got to represent. I haven't been buying a lot of nomads. I think I pretty much have all that I can find. I got a case full, and I have some just sparingly laying around from place to place. And my goal was to get one from each brand. I'm still working on that part. Next up, guys, we got the surf and turf. So my tune version. Had to throw a tune in there. I like the colors on this one. So I guess this is from Hot Wheels Art. I don't remember. <laughs> Have to represent the flames now. A 70 Chevelle. I have one disc. Just no flame, just plain yellow. That one I can, I dig that one. I just didn't feel like digging it up. It is hard to do challenges when everything is all over the place. Everything is in cases. So I just grab what I can grab just to, to try to complete the challenge as best as I can. Hopefully, these works. Next, guys, we got the Cruise Bruiser from the Art Cars. Yeah, here you go, Art Cars. Couldn't think. I know these are not a big fair, but I think I've seen some people take and remove all of the stuff on them. The car has looked better then. Maybe one day I might take a dry marker and do that. That'd be cool. I would think I would be trying to do some custom work while I got nothing but some time on my hand, but not motivated to do that yet. Next one up, guys, is the eight crate. Remember, I was trying to find this guy a long time ago. It took me a while to get it. Because I have the ones for the moon eyes. But this one I wanted because I like the color. This is a nice piece. Chrome interior. <laughs> Just love the color of the white, green, and the black. You can't beat that. Okay, next up, guys. This is from Johnny Lightning, and it's the Polar Lights. This is another one of those flea market finds with that beach theme going on, surfboard hanging out the back.
So guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming. Hopefully you guys do this challenge. And if you like this content, guys, give me a big old thumbs up. And leave me a comment. Tell me which one your favorite. And check out the friends in the comment section. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And make sure that notification is on. That way you know I uploaded another video. And the last piece, guys, is the fourth panel. I have a couple of these, but this one, since I like black, is one of my favorite colors. And I haven't shown this one. In. Yeah, this one opens, but it don't open that far. So we just won't do that. But there's the artwork on top of it. As you guys can see, it did do some tail lights. Wait, if that thing exhausts, who knows? So, guys, that is my take on the challenge from Mike over at Nitro Speed. Guys, give it a shot. Go check out his channel. I will try to leave a link in the description. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out to do this, and hopefully you do the challenge. Until the next video or the next challenge, I am Gary. This is Gary's Diecast Collection. I want to thank you guys again. Deuces, guys. I'll see you next time. I'm out of here now. Bye.